this problem is problem number, see I forgot to number after a while, this is 5 and so this is problem number 6 and notice here we have a non-homogeneous ODE with constant coefficients we also have initial values and so once we get our solution we're going to solve for those constants our first solution or our first part is going to be to find the complementary solution by letting y equal e to the mx and then looking at our characteristic equation 5m squared plus m is equal to 0 so for the characteristic equation we don't take into account this function of x we can solve by factoring out an m and setting equal to 0 gives us m equals 0 or 5m plus 1 equals 0 that's going to give me 5m equals negative 1 or m equals negative 1 fifth so my complementary solution is going to be C1 times e to the 0 from here plus C2 times e to the negative 1 fifth x or e to the negative x over 5. That's my complementary solution. Now we want to find the particular solution. So for the particular solution, this is where you want to take into uh, account all of the forms of whatever this function is. This is our g of x and any forms of the derivative. If you have just a simple exponential, then your particular solution is going to be just that, that one term, a e to the 2x where you're solving for a. Derivatives of e to the 2x just brings down that 2 and you still have e to the 2x so it's the same form of the term. Okay, So what we want to do is we want to solve for a in order to get a solution that will make the left side of the equation equal to the right side. So I'm going to substitute this yp into the original differential equation and when I substitute in I need my first derivative and my second derivative so I've got y p first derivative carry down the 2 that gives me 2a e to the 2x and for my second derivative carry down 2 again and I get 4a e to the 2x so when I substitute into this original differential equation using my particular solution I want to end up with negative 6 e to the 2x on the right side. So I'm going to get 5 times my second derivative that's 5 times 4 a e to the 2x plus 4 times, no that's not a 4, plus yp prime that's going to just be 2a, so that's 2a uh, let me just cross that out, plus 2a e to the 2x is equal to negative 6 e to the negative, negative 6 e to the 2x. Here notice I've got 20 and 2 gives me 22a e to the 2x has to equal negative 6 e to the 2x and we want to determine the coefficients that will make this true so you want to from this point you just want to compare coefficients and I know that 22a has to equal negative 6 to solve for a divided by 22 and we get a is here reduced by, by uh, 2 to 
to get negative 3 elevenths. That tells me my particular solution is negative 3 elevenths e to the 2x. And my general solution is my complementary solution plus my particular solution. Oh, that should be just my general solution. So my general solution is C1 plus C2 e to the negative x over 5 minus 3 elevenths e to the 2x. That's the general solution. And now we're given initial values. We're given that, here it is, that y of 0 is 0 and y prime of 0 is negative 10. So we can use those initial values to solve for c1 and c2. Uh, so let me see, y of 0 is 0 gives me c1 plus c2 this becomes a 0, e to the 0 power is 1. That actually becomes 1, c2. And then minus 3 elevenths, e to the 0 power. And then y prime, let me see what y prime is. When I take the derivative here, I get c1 plus, actually that's going to bring down the negative 1 fifth, negative 1 fifth, c2 e to the negative x over 5 minus carrying down that 2 gives me a 6 elevenths e to the 2x. And I know that y prime of 0 is negative 10. So y prime of 0 is negative 10 gives me c1 minus 1 fifth c2 this e to the 0 drops out, minus 6 elevenths, e to the 0 drops out. Hmm. So let me line up these equations. I'm going to bring this y of 0 down. I've got 0 equals c1 plus c2 minus 3 elevenths. I'm going to multiply the second equation by negative, 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 plus, so that these c1's drop out. And that's going to give me negative 10 is equal to the c1's drop. This is negative 1 fifth c2. This would be negative 5 fifths c2. So I get negative 6 fifths c2. Negative 6 elevenths and 3 elevenths gives me negative 3 elevenths. If I add 3 elevenths to each side, Let's see, I'd have to multiply by 11 over 11. That'll give me negative 110 plus 3 is negative 107 elevenths equals negative 6 fifths C2. So I want to multiply by 5 over negative 6. 5. Wow. Uh, nothing reduces and it gives me a positive. 5 times 107 is 535. 6 times 11 is 66. So I get C2 is 535 over 66. I'm thinking I must have an, a mistake in there somewhere, but I'm not sure where it is. So, uh, unless somebody points it out to me. I'll assume that my work is correct. And then I'm going to use the fact that C1 plus C2 
minus 3 elevenths is equal to 0. And this tells me that C1 is equal to 3 elevenths minus C2. which gives me 3 elevenths minus 535 over 66. Where's my mouse? 535 over 66. To subtract, I need a common denominator, so I'm going to multiply by 6 over 6. So this becomes 18, and that's going to give me a minus 5, 17 over 66, which maybe reduces. I think I can reduce by 11 to get 6. That's 44 that would go in 4 times, and 77 goes in 7 times. Negative 47 over 6 is C1. So my solution that corresponds to the initial values would be Y equals C1, that's negative 47 over 6, plus C2, 535 over 66, e to the negative x over 5, minus 3 elevenths e to the 2x. And again, those numbers look a little bit funny, but uh, nobody says that they ha have to come out real nice. Okay, I want to substitute.